this is such a huge event, yet it has really a de minimis impact um, on the stock, at least historically it has. Um, and I think that largely reflects the fact that there really is no easy way to discern, other than just kind of year over year growth, what the positives associated with this quote unquote holiday are for Alibaba and really Chinese e-commerce in general. Wait, you can't extrapolate what this means for Chinese e-commerce, because I think a lot of people will be watching the results of Singles Day come Monday and think, you know, am I going to be able to tell what the Chinese consumer is doing in terms of how I perceive China, how I perceive the stock market there? Yeah, no, I think that's fair, um, because obviously if we see um, a lack of an increase or a notable increase from the $25 billion generated last year, I think questions will grow. Um, but to be frank, Alibaba generated 53% revenue growth, and that didn't seem to allay concerns, largely because the company brought in its FY19 revenue guidance by about 5%. As you referenced, however, you know, the stock is down, I think, around 20% year to date, notably underperforming a lot of other, let's say, comparable uh, company stocks. And frankly, we see a lot of value right here because we see uh, the Chinese consumer as stable, relatively healthy, in conjunction with the economy as a whole there. And in addition to that, we just see a tremendous amount of secular growth. I know you were just talking about mm -hmm. um, their cloud computing business, for example. Is Alibaba your favorite uh, choice here among the Chinese so, internet companies? Yeah, so Tyler, in terms of Chinese internet companies, um, we actually only cover Alibaba and Baidu. We have a strong buy opinion on Alibaba. We actually have a buy opinion on Baidu. We upgraded the stock um, just before earnings results. One of my colleagues in Asia actually covers Tencent as well. He has a strong buy opinion on that stock. And I'm curious, Scott, as somebody who covers these, these Chinese internet stocks, what sorts of data do you look at out of China that help you stay informed about the Chinese consumer, helps you form the opinion as to where the Chinese consumer is going in e-commerce? Because right now, yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting because you can have a strong buy on Alibaba, but the perception is that the Chinese stock market is going to go lower as long as a trade war with China is on. Definitely feels like that. Um, and so I guess a, a couple of things. So in terms of data, um, the government puts out a tremendous amount of data. I know there's skepticism about the sources or validity of the data, but that's a good source as far as we're concerned. In addition, there are third party firms that are conducting research as well. But to be frank, we think the best source are really the companies themselves. And when Alibaba reports what we thought were very strong results, and the market collectively yawns, we look at that as an opportunity. As you point out, however, maybe not necessarily um, over the next week or month, but more over the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. And that's really what our um, recommendation is intended to reflect.